Oh, hey, Josh. Oh, what's the problem, Andy? I'm just feeling kind of bummed out because I have eight plates and six bowls and ten drinking glasses, and I don't know how many different orders I can wash them in. I don't worry about it, man. You have 24 different objects, so you can wash them in 24 factorial different orders. What's a factorial? <laughs> That's the product of the integers from one to that number. So, from one to 24 in this case. Think about it. You have 24 different possibilities for your first choice, times 23 for your second, and so on and so on. Well, what if I want to wash all the plates first, then all the bowls, and then all the glasses? Well, in that case, it's 8 factorial times 6 factorial times 10 factorial. Alright, well, what if I don't know which group I'm going to wash first or second, but I'm definitely going to wash everything in a group? Get a group, Andrew. We have three groups of objects, right? Uh-huh. Okay. So, you take your previous answer, 8 factorial times 6 factorial times 10 factorial, and multiply it by 3 factorial. Problem solved. Alright, are we good here? Uh, one more question. Go for it. Say I consider each type of a particular item to be the same. Then how many different orders can I wash everything? Okay, that's some... So for instance, if I go bowl, glass, bowl, that's different from starting out glass, bowl, glass. But it doesn't matter which bowl or glass is which. All right, all right, all right, Andy, okay? You have 24 different objects in groups of six, eight, and 10 of which the individual order does not matter. So, you take 24 factorial divided by the product of 6 factorial, 8 factorial, and 10 factorial. Capiche? It's basic math. I, mean, uh, I, I guess so? Math pros, math pros, it's the end of the show. We are letting you go till the next episode. Try to crack the code, keep solving the play. Loosen up, do a couple math problems a day. 